Brando, Steve here. And Larson. And welcome back to Going In Raw News Brief. Oh boy, not a lot of uh, news this week, or this a weekend little rather, things, so little this things, one... A lot of little things. This is good. Yeah, a lot of little things, little stupid things. Uh, the first one actually isn't stupid though, Larson. Uh, looks like we've gotten some sort of confirmation at least being Be the Elite. Being yes. the Elite. Uh, that a popular tag team is going to be showing up hopefully soon. Larson, what's going on? Uh, so it did seem inevitable, almost written in the stars, if you will, Steve, that the team formerly known as Revival, now called, of course, FTR, would make their way to AEW. Now it seems 100% confirmed, given the end of this week's Being the Elite, because it seems like uh, Cash and Dax pointed up for a Skyrider to announce their arrival in All Elite Wrestling. So the last shot is uh, the Young Bucks are sitting on the patio or something. They look up to the sky, and then there they see three clouds uh, that spell out F T. Are a little thick to be a skywriter, so uh, you know, I imagine uh, Nick bought some sort of After Effects preset uh, where you can do some sort of cloud writing. And no, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, it, it, it looks like the most they've spent on a budget in this show because it actually looks like a pretty darn good cloud. Yeah, they weren't bad, they weren't yeah. bad. You just lock down the camera, whatever it is. You put, yeah. the, you put the letters up there, get the right angle. So it looks like it's floating in the sky, and it worked. So apparently, uh, uh, Revival FTR. Head to All Elite, of course, with a live uh, Dynamite happening next week. You could expect uh, them to probably show up and set up a match between themselves, Young Bucks, at Double or Nothing. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. That'd be cool. Or they'll just show up at Double or Nothing. Uh, sort of depends maybe on... I mean, yeah, if they, if they want to... Uh, they may be in the need to boost ratings these days. I mean, they're having the last week, I think, are like 750 or something like that. Um, so, uh, do you do it now? Do you do it double or nothing? Either way, it looks like by the end of, you know, within a month or so, we're going to have FTR. I do appreciate that FTR has, they haven't like, they've, they haven't, they said that like FTR is it's open to interpretation as to what the letters mean, mm-hmm. which I like. Cause it's like, uh, does, does KFC actually stand for Kentucky fried chicken anymore? Well, or is it just point. like the corporate banner and you can interpret it? What is, what it stands for? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so I mean that, and with that in mind, what would KFC uh, stand for in, in in your mind, Steve? Oh man, I don't know. Uh, what's a word that starts with K that is synonymous with uh, trash food? Well, how about kind of effed up chicken? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. See, collaborative. I, I like it. That's good. Oh man. Anyways, uh, so yeah, no, that's awesome. That's great. Uh, you know, hopefully, also. Uh, well, I mean, this is that's the only place they can go <laughs> at this point. So it's not like we can hope to see them in New Japan anytime soon. No, because uh, they have shut down. So uh, no, that's great, and it's uh, it makes all the sense in the world. Totally, totally. Speaking uh, of other people that may have shut down, Steve, talk about Vince McMahon here, please. <laughs> this is great, man. So we all saw. Uh, Triple H's 25th anniversary celebration on SmackDown, right? At the very end, Vince McMahon comes out and, oh, 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 oh man. Runs on know. incoherently for a while. <laughs> yeah. Now, we took on our SmackDown review, we took a very optim not optimistic, but we took, we, we gave him the benefit of the doubt that whatever was coming out of his mouth seemed to be out of, you know, appreciation for his son-in-law. Yeah. And so we didn't really harp too much on the fact that he, he really did come across as, you know, one of those guys who's completely lost his mind wandering around the streets, you know, and you just sort of walk across the street when you see this guy. Uh, but Russell Votes uh, tweeted out uh, over the weekend uh, a screenshot from a text message they received from seemingly one of their sources. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, Russell Votes said, bro, what was that Vince shit last night? And uh, their source, whose name has been blacked out, but it looks like their name starts with a J and ends with an A. So clearly this is John Cena. Uh, <laughs> said, said that, is what, that is what he's been like, talking about Vince, the last two weeks or so I'm seeing. Think this pandemic, mania canceled, XFL getting killed has finally got to him, and he's at the fuck it part of it all. Screw it, Vince, could be wild. Um, blow it up, Vince. Is I think is what we're getting here. So. I guess so. I guess He's so. blowing it up. I mean, yeah. it's, it's 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 very rare that we saw, we we see Vince so publicly uh, talk about his his past creative mistakes. Um, so if if that's what we're getting, if nothing else, I'm all for it. Bring it on. Give Vince his own talk show segment. Heck yeah, man. That'd be Heck great. Yeah. Self reflective Vince. 
uh, yeah. going out there saying, yeah, this was terrible. This was crap. This could have been good, but but I added this the last minute made it crap. Uh, mm-hmm. Just literally like a weekly top 10 for Vince, all the crap decisions he'd make. He's made yeah. through the years. I think that'd be outstanding. It. I mean, thing. this this has to be. This has to be. Sorry, before we move on, this has to be some sort of beginning of the end, right? How many times have people written off Vince McMahon, though? You know. Yeah, but how much? Like this is there. There hasn't been this concrete level of proof in a while, and like, and it's true. All this stuff happening at the same time. XFL being I mean, being sure killed. It's, it's mentally and physically, emotionally taxing. And he's as, never been as old as he is today. As someone who who comes off as hardened, <laughs> I know as what he comes off as, which is a literal statement. You could say at any time. Exactly, you could say it tomorrow, the day after that, the day after. I could say it right now. He's literally never been old as. And he. I could say it as soon as he finished that sentence. It would still be true. Uh, something else is true that's exciting. Samo Joe, he's coming back. To commentary, this is from Pro Wrestling Sheet. They're reporting, quote, Samoa Joe's return to the Raw commentary team during today's double Raw taping, one today, one next week. Adding that, quote, sources tell us Joe is in attendance at the tapings. will return to the commentary team during at least one of the shows, if not both. However, they do note, quote, no word on who Joe will replace at the announce desk or if it'll be a four-man booth. Get Lawler out of there. It ain't going to happen. He's going to replace Byron. You know that's true. It sucks, but it's totally going to be true. It makes all the sense in the world to get Lawler out of there. He's super old. He's at risk. He shouldn't be there. Uh, and and that's just removing from how bad he is at commentary. Because on top of all that, he's really bad at commentary. He's horrible. <laughs> like it's it's insane that as soon as he said, what did he say, ramen noodle moonsault? As soon as he said that, there wasn't a hook that came out and <laughs> took. I can't whistle today. <laughs> And pulled him off stage because that was horrible. He should have been gone then, uh, and he should have been gone a long time before then. They never but, should have brought uh, him back. But if, if nothing else, if he does, if he does replace Byron, Byron, I really like Byron. I know you really like Byron. Byron isn't really good at uh, checking Lawler because you kind of need that. Like t- Tom, I think Tom has sort of developed a I don't really give a crap anymore thing. Uh, he likes what he does, and he has a lot of fun doing it. But he's not—he's not like afraid of getting fired anymore. I get that feeling from Tom Phillips. Doesn't seem like it. No, he's like, they sent me to UK. What more are they going to do? Just go ahead and fire me. What do I care? I feel like that's most of the people that work there's attitude. Um, Joe has no problem checking Lawler. He did that a lot when he was the three-man team with the uh, with the Vic and yeah. Lawler. Yeah. Uh, so even if he replaces Byron. I you know that won't be great, but uh, I love Samoa Joe. He's mm-hmm. awesome at commentary, mm-hmm. and he could potentially check uh, Lawler if he's still there. So uh, I'd love to hear if Lawler drops another something uh, akin to ramen noodle moonsault. I actually wouldn't mind hearing that just to see Joe's reaction to that because it could be hilarious. Anyway, so yeah, no, Joe's great. Uh, Lawler, he's awesome. He's terrible. Joe uh, is great. Lawler, terrible. Yeah. Uh, also terrible, WWE 2K announced a new game called Battlegrounds uh, after, of course, the drizzling shits, which is, I love that you put that in the notes here because that's one of my favorite expressions from you. Uh, that was WWE 2K20. Report surfaced not long ago that 2K Games, they were going to take a break from that franchise. I believe it was a Justin Leeper video he put out. They said that he had heard rumors that this was going to be the case was canceled, but that also there would be a new WWE game dropping this year. And today we learned what that game was. WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Uh, here's the press release. Of course, prior to this, they also announced that 2K21. They're ta- they're they're getting rid of that. They're taking the extra year yeah. to try to make 2K22. Yeah. You know, more uh, but better, yeah. what it's called. And the same more press release, they had more details. They hired somebody new to run the whole thing, yada, yada. Anyways, let's learn about Battlegrounds, because this is exciting stuff. No, it's not. Uh, they said, we're thrilled to introduce you to WWE 2K Battlegrounds, a completely new WWE gaming experience Rel- relative to the fact that All-Stars came out, like, what, five years ago, right? It was a while ago. Okay. Uh, that will feature arcade-style action, and over-the-top superstar designs, environments, and moves. We're focusing on social pick-up-and-play fun, but with plenty of depth 
for those who want to get way into it. There won't be any depth to this game. Whether you're a casual gamer just learning the ropes or a passionate fan ready for all the action, WWE 2K Battlegrounds. I feel like, you know, I feel like this is a uh, game preview from before. It really does. It really does. Feel WWE like 2K preview. Battlegrounds provides another way to enjoy WWE video game action. The game is being developed by Saber Interactive, the studio behind NBA 2K Playgrounds, who have been hard at work on WWE 2K Battlegrounds. are excited to let you smell what they're cooking. Battlegrounds is scheduled launch this fall. I'm looking forward to sharing my bed. And then we just recycle the same trailer over and over again. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You got 30 seconds uh, of footage to cut with. You can only do so much. So they look like they're going with some sort of like big head mode. Yeah. On this. Everybody yeah. has like a big head. Yeah. Uh, they look vaguely like their actual character. They're the actual people, the actual wrestlers. The Rock. I, I told you the uh, dirt, like the pre-stream. The Rock looks like they got the caricature of his face from the guy they scanned. For 2K20, well, which hold on. clearly was not anybody. Dwayne Johnson. They didn't scan anybody for 2K21. This one like, did that from memory. Okay, you know what? Here's the thing about that face. It distinctly looks like somebody. Clearly not The Rock. I think they they got some dude who kind of looks like The Rock and it was like, hey, come in here. Can we scan your well, face? I'm telling you, man. It's someone, it's, someone just did it from memory. Anyways, uh, this Blind is really footage. Memory. It could change. Um, uh, this is a, a huge departure from what we've gotten used to and kind of bored with with the other games. Um uh, whoa, whoa, I, bored with? I didn't get bored with it. The gameplay was get, boring. What, the, the sim stuff? Yeah, I kind of got tired of the same old thing. Give me something new as a palate cleanser. I'm fine with this. You're not. I will guarantee you're not going to play this. I will play I will, it. You will, you will not play. Are you I gonna bought All-Stars. I Dude, bought All-Stars. Are you going to pay 60 bucks for this? Yeah. I will. Wow. How much do you want to? I will bet you money. Right now, that you will not purchase this for sixty dollars. Or how much you want to bet? Five dollars. Okay. Five dollars. <laughs> Man, you're not gonna buy this totally game. Gonna buy this. It looks fun. And not return it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna download on my PS4. I can't return that. <laughs> Man, this looks. It it looks it looks. I'll put it this way. My main problem with it, dude, is that it just looks like it looks basic. This looks like a fighting game engine that they just had laying around, that they skinned a bunch of the characters. Listen, listen. There's one thing that sold me in this game. John Cena being thrown to an alligator. That's got to be something more than just he gets thrown to the alligator, uh, fade to black, uh, rock wind. It's got to be more than that. I can almost guarantee that it cuts to black and then it cuts to the rock celebrating. There ain't a chance in heck they're going to have anything fun or interesting about that alligator be, uh, uh, eating John Cena. Maybe it's an alligator lumberjack it. match. You can set various beasts and creatures outside the ring for lumberjack matches. How amazing would that be? And then you get tossed out there. You got to fight those creatures. That's what okay. I'm hoping for. And that's it could not a be good that. idea. Listen, I and can they're play not going to do your idea. And play it once. And it's not to my liking. I'm like, all right, my bad. You know, uh, it's a crap game. So be it. But what's wrong with being excited about something new, something different? Huh? You know, maybe there's, you know what else? Maybe there's you a decent spend? customization suite. There was in, in All Stars. Was there? Yeah. All Stars had a customization suite? It certainly did. I made Orson Welles in that game. Wow. And was myself. Was he cool? Was he good? Yeah, he was fine. <laughs> oh, that was like eight years ago. I don't remember. He was a great filmmaker, though. He was. Yeah, Underappreciated he was. in his own time. All right. Anyways, well, I well, hope you let have me fun. Be excited. I mean, I'm not. I'm not expecting the world. I'm expecting a, a, a welcome diversion. Maybe we can get a little content out of. It. That's it. All right, fair enough. We'll see when it comes. You can be so pessimistic. Just give it a chance. Just Look, give man, it a chance. I'm just, I'm just going by what I'm seeing. It can't be worse than 2K20. It can't be. Here's the thing about 2K20 though, because it can. You know, you, here's here's the thing about me. I enjoy glitches. I enjoy. Uh, things breaking down because it makes it makes me laugh. I like I like looking at something saying, "Oh, this is so funny because it's broken," and then you get all these weird faces and stuff. Yeah, but like when we played, like, we can't. We barely got any of that stuff. What I can't. Stand, the rest was so bad it was barely. It's basically unplayable. What I can't stand is just a boring game. And have you beyond played? The, beyond have you played 10 any of minutes these? of this? Just doesn't look. I just I can't believe this is going to be interesting. Past have you played? Minutes. Have you played this playgrounds game at all? Do you know anything about it? I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. All right. Anything. I mean, if it's fun, don't know anything. Then it could be worth something. It could be fun. It could be a good time. 
Get a, a chance. Thrilling slow say. Wolfpack game yesterday, though. Mm. Did uh, Spencer Dinwiddie uh, come through for you? He did, actually. Solid backup point. Yeah. Yeah. See, let here's me be the, the GM though, of your dude. team. Here, here's the thing. This is what mm. this is probably how slow wolf pack will work best. Because we can't get on the same page playing together. So let me build the team. Let so me build if the you team. build the team, yeah. I'll play the But games. I I want I want I want no 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 limitations, no restrictions. Let me we'll talk the, about it later. Let's move on. Let's I want to build on. a winning team for you. I can, but you gotta let you gotta take let me take the gloves off, man. Let me do what I need to do. All right, Jerry Krause. Give us a raw preview, why don't you? All right, first there's only two things announced as of us filming this about one o'clock. Uh Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins set for WWE championship match contract signing tonight on Raw. Uh, that could be Drew's fun. I like Drew. Oh, he's and Seth is good. This will be good. It'll be good. Uh, one match: Oscar versus Nia Jax versus Shayna Baszler. The three uh, participants from Raw on the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match uh, are gonna go head to head to head in a triple threat match tonight. Well, triple threats are no DQ, so somebody's got to eat a loss here, right? Yeah, it's probably gonna be Oscar, isn't it? Uh huh. That sucks. Anyways. <laughs> I don't mean to be so negative today. Anyways. Yeah, what's with the negativity, man? There's no negativity. I'm I'm just, you know. You just admitted you were being negative. Well, about that Battlegrounds game. Before that, I was, yay, everything. That Battleground games look like crap, though. Anyways, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We appreciate it. Let's try to get this one up to 500 likes. Till next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>